Right, we're going to look at five clubs that need saving, that need a rebuild. Um, I'm going to give you five suggestions. What I'd like you to do, because people are always reading the comments on these sort of videos, I want you to write down in the comments and let me know. Give me some ideas on some clubs that desperately need your help in managing on Football Manager. Which clubs need saving? I've come up with five from five different countries. We're looking at England, France, Sweden, Turkey and Italy. All right, let's get into today's episode. What I'd appreciate if you smash a like on it, that would be lovely. And let's go and find out which club uh, from Sweden needs your help. Now, the first club is Ostersunds. Obviously, people probably were never aware of them until Graham Potter sort of like went on his meteoric rise with them. He got them from the fourth tier to the first tier and the top division and won the Swedish Cup, got them into the Europa League, beat Hertha Berlin, beat Galatasaray, beat Arsenal at the Emirates. Once he left, Things started to fall apart. They went from 6th to 12th. And then in the 2021 season, so remember their season goes from, I think, like April to like Christmas time. So in the 2021 season, they have finished bottom and have been relegated. Now, it wasn't all just down to Graham Potter. Um, financial, big financial problems as well. I think a bit of dodgy dealings with the club owner and the director of football, I think. I think they've both been sort of like done for fraud, something along those lines. So the club is in a bit of a state. Um, I just thought it was a good challenge. Someone who's seen that meteoric rise and then a quick fall. They have been relegated, but in the game at the start of 2022 when you start, it's, it's weird how it works. Even though this is 2022 and Ossesson should be starting life in the second tier, it kind of just pretends the 2021 season never existed. I don't know why it does that. It would be good if there was an update. There probably is an update for it. If you go on to, uh, if you go on to the Steam Workshop, I bet there's an updated database somewhere for you so you can have Ostersons in the second tier. But here they are, Ostersons. A little work to be done in terms of finances. That's going to be the absolute killer, especially if you do end up getting relegated yourself or you take on the second, uh, take them on in the second tier. Basic youth facilities, national reputation, below training facilities as well. So that's a little bit of a worry. Bank balance, not great at all. Overall bank balance, you're starting with half a million in the red. No wages. How good are you, how good are you at training players and developing your own players? That will be key for this save. Is there any loan? There is a loan. Not much. 12,000. Yeah, so that, that's, that's okay. The debt's not going to be a big thing. Um, but what you need to do is get these boys onto a level footing as quickly as possible. And then what you want to do is look at potentially getting them back into Europe. That's where the money is. Um, best player is Sonko Sundberg, 25-year-old Gambian. They've got a few Africans. They were linked with like Libyan government. I think it was Lib Libyan government a few years ago where they would train players um, from Africa as part of sort of like a development and, and the government would pay money for them to have them. So you'll always have a nice array of African talent. Um, is that Brund? Yeah, Brundi. Two Ghanaians. Ivory Coast, another Ghanaian. What's that? Palestine. Uh, a Guinean. Ugandan. And another Gambian. So there's lots of internationals there. Um, I think the squad's okay. I think if you start, if, if you take this squad into the second tier, you'll absolutely smash it. Um, depending on where you start with them. So that is the first club, Ostersunds. All right, club number two, and we're moving to England, to Oldham Athletic. Currently, I think, bottom of the Football League. Absolute shambles of a football club over the last few years, in particular with their current owner who is banning any fans who have sort of like um, protested against the board. I think he's actually on his way out. If he can sell a club, which I think at this level is very, very difficult. Um, Premiership, Premier League found a club they were in the first ever Premier League so there's a little bit of history if you want in that form they were never massive if you were after that ex-Premier League team that has fallen on hard times you know once teams get out of the Football League and get into the Vanarama just ask a York City fan it's very difficult to get back and I think if all of them do get relegated this year it's going to be so difficult so difficult for them to get back it, unless they get a really good owner in next um there you can see, they did play in the Premier Division. I think, was it the 92-93 or 91-92? One of the seasons they did get relegated, but I think they spent three years in the Premier League. 
They did have nearly a hundred years, what's that, about 70 years without playing. It's a long time ago, it's over 30 years ago, but an opportunity to get a former Premier League club back. I think the stadium's not too bad, 13,000, it is very, very old, but there's potential there in terms of money in, if you can get through the leagues, getting 13,000 in through the turnstiles would be pretty good. Basic youth facilities, decent training facilities, I think, at this level. League 2, average training facilities. The only problem is you've got an horrendous owner. Obviously, football manager is never as bad as real life. Uh, there he is, the owner, and you've also got a global ban, so no transfers in the up until what the new year, which makes it gives it a little bit of extra spice. Finances, I imagine in real life, finances are terrible. Yeah, three hundred seventy-seven thousand. So you win the profit. Um, nothing in terms of money, you've got nothing in terms of wages, you've got a £1,000 to spend in wages, so maybe in January you can maybe get a couple in on loan or something like that. Uh, loans, club chairperson loan, of course there is, and um, paying him 28000 so that's that's a, a bit, that's £280,000. Um, I think by the end of it, that money, that overall balance is going to go clearly in the red. The projection will not look great, no, it definitely doesn't so a little bit bit of work to be done uh, a run in the FA Cup would be good the squad itself I imagine he's not great as well you've got Jamie Bowden a potential but I think he's on loan from Spurs yet and who's the best player it says this dude bam I'm not even going to pronounce that winger looks pretty useful actually in this level looks pretty useful so that's it my English choice is Oldham Athletic get them back into the Premier League Right, we're going to move to France. We're going to look at the most successful club in France in terms of league wins. And it's not PSG. It is 10-time league uh, winners St Etienne, who are currently bottom of the division, five points away from safety. A bit of an upturn, but if you want one of the ultimate sort of like rebuilds from a famous club who have definitely fallen on hard times, you've also got, I think, the extra spice. I think the French league is quite boring, but I think in terms of football manager overcoming PSG with a club who has a little bit of fame back in, what, what had it been, the, the 80s? When was the last time they won it? 1981, so 30 years without a trophy. Your chance to deliver a little bit. It's going to take some turning over. Excellent training facilities, great youth facilities, so it looks like if you can get your coaching staff sorted, you'll have some brilliant regens coming through. 42,000 seat a stadium as well, so the money is there. I think, obviously, there's not much in terms of TV at the moment, but you're going to have that constant cash flow. I think the club is well supported, 13,000 season ticket holders by the looks of it. So the potential, I think, is there to grow. Finances... 20 million in the bank, that's quite good. 2 million to spend in Jan in the first transfer window, so that's not too bad. You might be able to get a bargain in, a loanee in, maybe a youngster. Debt, £125,000 a month, so that's what's going to accumulate to about 1.5 million a season, so not too bad. I think that's doable. You're obviously going to need to get into Europe at some point. Have you got any sellable assets? You have the 19 year olds. I think. If you can keep a deal for the first couple of seasons, play him, play him as much as possible, get that value up as high as you can. Uh, first of all, I would sign him to a new deal. He's only got two years left on his deal. Get him signed to a deal first. Play him, play him, play him, sell him for mega money. And then what you can do is then with that money that you get from him, maybe 50, 60, 70 million, you can put it back into the squad. Or essentially build the save around him, build a team around him for the next 10 seasons but there's other players in there that are quite good I think they've just had a horrendous they've slowly been on the downfall for the last few years of St Etienne and there's always that season that things go completely wrong and uh, this is definitely the season you've got some classic Budabos who's a bit of an FM legend um, you've got Wabi Kazri Trakao's a good defender uh, Sadao Sao, you've got some, there's some decent players, you've got a lot of young players in there as well, look at all the players that are 23 and younger, so a chance all with decent current and decent potential, so I think a really fun save for you to take over St Etienne, obviously you've got the big boys of PSG, um, makes it, I think which makes it a little bit more interesting longer term. Right, and moving across to my favourite nation to manage in, it is Italy, and we're looking at Genoa. Now, they have just appointed in real life, well, just before Christmas, Andrei Shevchenko. They've got a new American uh, owner in, so that all seems positive, but their league position isn't sec currently second bottom. Looking like relegation is going to be 
unless something amazing happens, there's going to be a little bit of money injected in January, some transfers definitely to be made. However, I'm not, it's not the American billionaire kind of takeover. There won't be loads of money spent. So a difficult, I think you can avoid relegation with them, no problem. The thing is about these, they've got excellent, look, great youth facilities, excellent training facilities, an historic club in terms of trophies. They've won the City A nine times. That puts them up there as one of like the fourth or the fifth greatest ever Italian clubs in terms of winners. However, the last one was in 1924. 1924. They've obviously got the English link as well. I think there was something got to do with a cricket team when the club first started back in, what was it, 1893. Finances are now secure. So that gives you a little bit of a base. 12 million in the bank. 6.5 million to spend. I think in a first season transfer budget is pretty good. Currently spending 878. So you've not got much. A player maybe around 40, 40,000 pound a week you could probably bring in. There's a lot of players in on loan. You've obviously lost Ravella, who's going to uh, Juventus, but you've got him for a, a season. Um, Casado's there. You've got Matteo Destro, who's done very well for them so far this season, but been out injured. That's why they've struggled. Pandev is still there. Of course he is. You've got Stefano Storaro, uh, Barami. Um, Cambiasso's a nice player. 21 years old, Italian. Couple of decent fullbacks. You've got Maximovic as well. Really good, solid centre half. So I think, once again... A, a, a bit of a build, an ultimate sort of from nothing, from nothing at the moment. A club that has been in this sort of like bottom half of City A for year after year after year. Have they been relegated recently? So they've been all right. They've been in the City A since 2007. So they've had a nice little run there. But they did have the late to the sorry the late 90s, early 2000s. They did end up in City B and City even C for a season, and then got themselves back up. But it's been a bit of a you know. 9th, 10th, 17th, 17th, 14th, 6th, 11th, 16th, 12th, 17th, 17th, 11th. Um, so yeah, there's just there's just them ones that I've seen to always hang on and relied on, hoping that, praying that there is three worse clubs than them in the division. I think this year though, they're going to be going down. Can you save Genoa? All right, and moving across to Turkey, the last one is Gala Tassaray. The most probably famous of Turkish clubs. Now, I was a bit of a Fenerbahce boy. Really enjoyed coaching, coaching, managing in Turkey in FM, what it would be, in FM 20, I think it was. Had one of my best ever saves with Fenerbahce. A really good opportunity to sort of like build a nation save. Um, these are no different. They're actually predicted to finish fourth, which is weird. I always kind of imagined they'd be favourites to win the league. So you're not even classed as favourites just yet. Our second favourites, according to the media, there's Fenerbahce 4 to 1 and Transonspo, Besiktas Evans, who have not won the league, I don't think as much as the others. Fenerbahce, Besiktas, obviously big rivals with Galatasaray. Um, the main reason I've picked Galatasaray is because they're actually 12th at the moment and they have just sacked, like in the game, they have just sacked Faith Terem, the legendary manager. He's actually classed as director of football now in the game, which is weird, but in real life, he's literally just been sacked. I think it was either yesterday or the day before. Um, so I thought this was a really good save. The stadium is absolutely massive. You've got the infrastructure there. 52,000 seat stadium, only built 11 years ago. So you've got lots of money in terms of uh, ticket sales and stuff like that. Obviously, you need European football. You start in the Champions League as well. Um, I think you've got a qualifying, but potential to get through to the group stage, and that's where the money is. Training facilities and youth facilities, I think, if you're going to do a long-term, same with these, building it up is going to be key for that. So a little bit of money to be spent there. I imagine the finances aren't amazing. 24 million, you've got 15 million to spend, which is brilliant, a lot more than what I had at Fenerbahce. Debt and loan, £900,000 per month, and a loan, repayable on maturity. So, oh dear. That could be a problem. That could be a problem. So there's a little bit of debt there, boys. A total of £272 million. That's a lot of debt. Um, so Champions League football every single season, buying players that have maybe been dis disregarded by the big clubs, developing your own players, signing Turkey's best young talents, I think will be your focus going forward. £900,000 a month, that is a lot. That is a lot. You're looking at, what, £10, £11 million going straight out in terms of loans. I imagine the squad needs a little bit of love. They do love an older player. Yeah, you've already got Van Arnold, Faguli, Turan, Oztuk, Babel and Musalera all over 30. You've got Diang, who was the guy at West Brom last year. Quite a nice, nice little loan signing. You've got players in there to get 
challenge and you've got that money to spend, I would probably spend that money straight away because you probably won't get it <laughs> the season after the board. I'll probably take it off you to get it spent, maybe on a couple of younger players to pad out the squad. Go and look around in the Turkish lower so the teams, the Turkish teams apart from the big two in the division, um, see which take players. Bursaspor is always a good one to go to. They have a fantastic youth academy. So yeah, I think I've given you five really good save ideas. If any of those have interested you, let me know down in the comments. I now literally want to start five new saves today, but that's that's how I roll. I love ideas like this. I do one of these videos up every season, so I've, hopefully you boys have enjoyed it. As I said, let me know. If there's any other teams that you think are in serious need for a rebuild, let me know down in the comments. Thank you for watching. Make sure you go check out all the other uh, content on the channel. I am starting my Twitch save next week, next Saturday. Saturday, the 22nd of January. Build a nation with Gothenburg. Live on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Trek FM. Take care, guys. Thanks for watching. See you later.